All right, welcome back, everybody. So it seems like there's yet another TV spot. Uh, Lucasfilm seems like they're just going to keep releasing TV spots pretty much every day until this movie comes out. Uh, so let's see what we get. It's too dangerous, Finn. I need to go alone. We're all in this till the end. Yeah, that's new. We've got friends out there. Good people will fight if we leave. Them. Oh, there's the dagger. They've taken enough of us. Now we take the war to them. Let the final battle begin. Oh, that is Dark Ray again. Okay, that's the second time they've shown that Dark Ray shot. All right, the shot everyone's probably going to be talking about in this, that dagger shot. Where is that dagger shot? Okay. Wow, look at that. Okay, so, I mean, like, there was some debate as to whether or not this could have been, like, maybe the dagger of Mortis. It could be something similar. It doesn't look the same as it did in the Clone Wars, but... From what we've heard in the leaks, uh, there's this dagger has like Sith writing on it that can't be translated by C-3PO unless he like destroys his programming. So that's why we know he's getting hacked by that Babu Frick character. So if things things do look like they're gonna go according to the leaks, which I said is unfortunate, but I do kind of like that they're bringing in sort of this like Sith relic, Sith artifact kind of business into this um we've seen some of this in a recent episode of the star wars resistance too not many people are watching that because uh, it's not on disney plus season two is still only on um disney xd or the disney channel but they've had some uh rating of sith temples going on where sith where um there are some uh first order raiders which is a new kind of uh, first order trooper that are specifically seeking out relics, they say, for their master. At that point, it's supposedly either Snoke or Kylo. We don't know which one. But here it looks like Rey is like reading the dagger herself, almost. Uh, so that goes against what we hear about C-3PO. Uh, maybe it acts as like a, a compass of some kind. Maybe this is that Wayfinder device that we've been hearing about. So that perhaps it's like, a, like, a, like I said, it's like a compass or a sundial or something that directs them in the right direction, points them in the right direction, because I don't think she can read uh, the Sith writing, but she might be able to interpret something. Once again, you know, lots of new angles from shots we've already seen, but we've heard some new dialogue in this too from Finn. I said in a TV spot yesterday that a lot of these, some of these TV spots aren't hitting, and some of them are, and like yesterday's and today's, this one, I like this one, so some of these TV spots are actually, like, I'm liking them. I had originally said that I don't want them to release anymore, but I mean, really, it, it depends because I'm my excitement for this movie is kind of like ebbing and flowing. Like if I see something I don't like, like, oh, they fly now, that kind of turns me off. But then I see something like this dagger and I'm like, ooh, now this is cool. Like, let's see more of this. And it's still up in the air what this movie is actually about. No one actually knows except for this this leak that is seemingly pretty accurate. So I'm excited. I hope everyone else is excited. If you're going to go see this movie and you're excited, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.